Page six now, the battle against phony mask mandates. These blue state governors are sitting back in their mansions right now, having the times of their lives. These are radicals who hate the Constitution and are really enjoying ordering their people around in their states. You can't do this. You can't do that. Oh, but you must wear a face covering, despite all the volumes of scientific data that show repeatedly that mask wearing does zero to mitigate the spread of airborne viruses. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Newsbaum. Barry, we've had, if you're keeping score at home, I don't know, probably a dozen scientists on this program, epidemiologists who are all telling us the same thing, that the masks do nothing to mitigate the spread of an airborne virus, whether you are sick or somebody else is sick, because we're talking about tiny, tiny particles that can, number one, permeate the mask. And number two, if they lodge on the mask, people touch them, of course, to take them off. They adjust them constantly. You see people adjust them constantly. And so what you're doing is you're just transmitting a disease or other diseases in other forms. You're doing it by hand or, or by taking the mask off and putting the mask on a table or what have you. This is just crazy stuff. You make a very good point, and there's really two strong arguments against the mask. Number one, Graham, they do not prevent you from getting sick. I want to make that very clear in 50-foot letters. It doesn't screen viruses. As you said, they're microscopic in size. It'll prevent you from sneezing on somebody at Home Depot, probably, but that's it. The more important point is there's a lot of work out there being done to show that Wearing a mask for extended periods of time lowers the oxygen content in your blood, therefore lowering your immune response, therefore making you more susceptible not only to COVID-19, but a plethora of other illnesses. Masks don't work, I think. Honestly, this is about control yep. and the ability of governors that don't think about your rights. They can demonstrate, hey, look, I can control you by fiat, and what are you going to do about it? It's criminal, Barry. Uh, you talk about Home Depot. I see these parents running around with their kids in Home Depot, and they have masks on. These children should not be breathing this, uh, this highly toxic uh, air because, let's face it, 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 as you pointed out, it restricts your ability to intake oxygen and, and keeps the carbon dioxide uh, you know, around that mask and all kinds of other kind of uh, germs. It's not healthy and it shouldn't be done. But there's one more aspect to this, Barry, that I think is maybe even more important that a lot of people don't talk about is the symbolism of wearing a mask, especially when we are in these racially charged times. Think about it. Think about being forced to cover your mouth, cover your ability to speak, cover your First Amendment rights. I was ordering food the other day. I was trying to talk to the clerk. I couldn't understand what he was saying. He was muzzled. <laughs> I, I think there's a really, really profound, weird, bizarre occurrence going on that I don't know why anyone doesn't talk about it 24-7, which is yes. there were hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people in the streets for the past two weeks with social distancing somewhere between two inches and four inches hugging, high-fiving, looting. Nobody said anything about COVID-19. Nobody mentioned the health risks. And now that the rioting has died down, oh, COVID came back. I thought COVID was cured two weeks ago because it was okay to have, well, what, several million people in the street yep. disregarding every single warning. And now <laughs> it comes back because Trump wants to have a hey, rally hey. or the governors are concerned they're losing control of their people. It, it's herd immunity. I, I, they're spreading herd immunity. I am actually applauding uh, these people. The, the topper for me, though, Barry, was this week when a report came out, some study said, hey, couples need to wear a mask when they're having sex. Sorry, <laughs> but that's it. Barry, thanks.